Imagine a day when vehicles are able to communicate with one another. Imagine a future where drivers would be warned of a potential crash by the vehicle they're driving because of this communication. The technology to make this happen exists today and future possibilities are just around the corner. Continuing to build on the positive results of previous crash avoidance safety system programs, the United States Department of Transportation, working cooperatively with eight major automotive manufacturers, Ford, General Motors, Honda, Hyundai Kia, Mercedes-Benz, Nissan, Toyota, and Volkswagen Audi, initiated a vehicle-to-vehicle, -vehicle, V2V for short, collaborative project, where one of the objectives is to determine if a diverse group of drivers accept V2V safety technology and to see how they respond to the system. What makes V2V communication work is a wireless protocol similar to Wi-Fi called Dedicated Short Range Communications, or DSRC for short. When DSRC is combined with GPS technology, the result is a low-cost V2V communication system that provides a 360-degree view of similarly equipped vehicles within communication range. Transmitted messages common to all vehicles include each vehicle's current GPS position, vehicle speed, acceleration, and heading. Vehicle control information such as the transmission state, brake status, and steering wheel angle, as well as the vehicle's path history and path prediction. Path history is a set of previous positions which provide a history of where a vehicle has been. It represents about 300 meters of the vehicle's past path of travel. Only the points necessary to define its path history are transmitted. When a vehicle is driving down a straight road, for example, only a few data points are needed to represent its path history. When that same vehicle enters a curve or set of curves, more data points are needed to represent its path history. Path prediction allows a vehicle to provide its future trajectory and its confidence in this trajectory. The confidence will tend to be high on straight roadways or curves with a constant curvature and lower during lane changes or transitions in and out of curves. With path history and path prediction, the vehicle is essentially being provided with a dynamic map of the roadway geometry ahead, essential information for performing threat assessment and predicting potential crashes. It's important to note that information transmitted by every vehicle is anonymous and does not include any personally identifying information such as name or license plate number. And a sophisticated security system has been put in place to ensure that all information exchanged between vehicles is authentic and can be trusted. By employing common data, security and communication standards, V2V interoperability among automotive manufacturers has been achieved. Since all vehicles communicate in the same way, each automotive manufacturer is free to develop their own safety applications and warning indicators. When a crash is predicted, the vehicle will provide a warning to the driver, either through a seat vibration, tone, or visual display, or combinations of these indicators. The systems developed under this project are only intended to provide crash warnings. The driver remains in control at all times and the vehicle will not automatically brake or steer. The following scenarios demonstrate some of the safety applications that can be enabled using V2V technology. The Emergency Electronic Brake Light Safety Application, or EEBL, can notify a driver of a hard braking vehicle in the path ahead. Three vehicles are traveling in the same lane. You are driving the last vehicle. You can't see the first vehicle because it's being blocked by the vehicle directly in front of you. Unexpectedly, the first vehicle slams on its brakes. Because of V2V communication, your vehicle is able to provide a warning of the hard braking vehicle ahead, well before you see brake lights from the vehicle directly in front of you. This warning will enable you to drive safely and avoid a potential crash. The Blind Spot Warning Safety Application, or BSW, lets a driver know that there's a vehicle that may not be visible positioned in the driver's blind spot. Because of V2V communication, a blind spot advisory is issued to make you aware of the presence of this vehicle. Should you attempt a lane change with the vehicle still in your blind spot, this advisory will escalate to a warning, 
letting you know that it is not safe to change lanes. The Lane Change Warning, or LCW, is a safety application intended to provide a warning if a driver intends to change lanes into a zone that will soon be occupied by a faster moving vehicle traveling in the same direction. Using the data obtained through V2V communication, your vehicle predicts that this vehicle will soon be in this zone. If you attempt to make a lane change, a warning will be provided, letting you know that the lane change should not be attempted. The Forward Collision Warning Application, or FCW, is intended to warn the driver of a potential rear-end crash with a stopped or slower-moving vehicle ahead. You are driving over a small hill, and ahead in your lane is a slower-moving vehicle. The vehicle ahead is wirelessly sending its information, allowing your vehicle to provide a warning if you are approaching too quickly and are in a potential rear-end crash situation. This will enable you to slow to a safe speed and distance behind the slower moving vehicle. Now consider that a vehicle ahead of you has, for example, run out of gas and is stopped in your lane. The vehicle directly in front of you makes a late lane change around the stopped vehicle. Even though you can't see the stopped vehicle, because of V2V communication, your vehicle is aware of the stopped vehicle and provides you with a warning ahead of time so that you can safely slow your vehicle before reaching the stopped vehicle ahead. The Do Not Pass Warning, or DNPW, is a safety application intended to let the driver know that it is not safe to attempt to pass a slower moving vehicle because of oncoming traffic in the passing zone. Using V2V communication, your vehicle is continually looking for cars in your intended passing zone. If a vehicle is detected in the passing zone, a driver advisory is provided, letting you know that the passing situation is potentially unsafe. Should you attempt to pass the slower vehicle, the advisory escalates to a warning, so you can stop the attempted maneuver and remain in your lane. The Intersection Movement Assist, or IMA, is a safety application intended to warn the driver when it is not safe to enter an intersection because of the high likelihood of a crash with a vehicle on an adjacent approach to the same intersection from either the left or the right. If an intersecting vehicle is detected using V2V communication, a driver warning is provided if it is unsafe for you to enter the intersection. Now, imagine you are approaching an intersection where you have the right of way and cross traffic must stop. As you approach the intersection, the driver of a crossing vehicle fails to stop and continues traveling through the intersection directly in front of you. A warning is provided when the violating cross traffic is detected. This helps you respond in a timely manner and stop rather than continuing through the intersection and potentially getting into a crash. The Left Turn Assist application, or LTA, is intended to warn the driver when making a left turn that it may not be safe to proceed because of oncoming traffic. You are approaching an intersection and get into the left turn lane prior to making a left-hand turn at the intersection. As you release the brakes to continue through the turn, thinking the path is clear, a warning is provided indicating that oncoming traffic has been detected using V2V communication and it is not safe to complete the turn. Caution. Oncoming vehicle. When the oncoming traffic clears, the warning goes away and the left turn can be completed. The safety applications and scenarios you have just seen are but a glimpse into the future of what may be possible when all vehicles can communicate and understand one another, regardless of make, model, or manufacturer. Several challenges remain but the US DOT and auto manufacturers continue their commitment to further the development of V2V safety technology. Technology that will prove beneficial to all of the drivers of our roads the world over for today, tomorrow, and generations to come. On behalf of the US Department of Transportation and the CAMP VSC3 Consortium, we wish you safe driving.